Hi, I'm Katie Wedland with Houdini.com, and I'm going to show you how to achieve this fabulous masquerade look for the next Mardi Gras party or Halloween party that you have to go to. It was inspired by a look that Lady Gaga dared to don on the red carpet. We'll have fun with this one. So to start this look, I'm going to start out with this fun little palette that I just got by Fresh um, to use as a primer on the one eye that we will not be covering with lace. So I'm just going to prime it with this nice lightning pink cool icy tone. That way when I do put a shadow over the top it's going to really enhance the pigment of the shadow. So now that I've primed her eye I'm going to put this bright vibrant hot pink by Makeup Forever over the top of it. So because everything else is so is going to be so dark and black and lacy. I want to really brighten this eye up and bring out the pink right up into the brow bone. And I can feather it out a little bit too. And I want to just outline the whole eye. Bright pink. Then I want to come in and line this eye with a nice deep dark black. And this is my favorite liner. It's actually L'Oreal's hip line. It's a gel eyeliner. I just want to define this eye um, because this is the, the one eye that you're going to see pop. So now that we've got that eye defined, we're going to start with the lace coverage. So you basically just get a piece of lace that you like, you like the pattern. First I'm going to lay it on to where, exactly where we're going to have this covering her face. So I basically just want to mark where the lace is because next I'm going to go back and cover this whole area in, in a nice thick opaque black all over. Um, so I want to just know where the lace is going to end. So I'm going to kind of just mark it just very lightly. And these little, this is a nice uh, steel toned pencil. So even if I see this after you know, I'm finished, it'll still look nice with the whole look. Steels and cranberries and blacks. Very dark yet girly. Okay, I can take this away because I know kind of the general line of where the, where the lace was. Now I'm going to take something that you can get at um, many costume supply stores, um, Halloween Adventure, Ricky's, places like that. They have this uh, grease paint and I have it in black here. And I am literally going to just cover this side of her face in black. And I can kind of follow the scalloped edge, but it doesn't have to be perfect because um, I'm, I'm going to be filling it in with powder and it will kind of take on its own, its own edge. But at least I know somewhat where the lace is going to lay. All the way down and across her face where this lace would be. I hope you have a, a good uh, masquerade ball to go to tonight, Annie, because this will be perfect. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> this is New York. No one will notice. Right. <laughs> so I'm just kind of coating it because, um, one, I like the texture of this because when I lay the lace stencil down, it's, it's gonna stick to it temporarily while I work with the powder. And as you can see, I followed a loose scalloped edge, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, so now that I've got the lace portion filled in, I'm going to take my lace piece once again. We're gonna press it nice and tight against her eye. Okay. So now that we've got the lace in place, this is our stencil, we are going to add the lightness. So the dark actually takes on the look of the lace and then the lightness will be the light in between. Um, and I want to use some really icy pearlescent colors. I'm going to start with this pearly lilac color and I'm going to just start kind of dropping it into the holes of the lace. Lace can be fun. It doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm just kind of going around in sort of circular motions with the purple. And next, I'm going to pull out 
this more silvery white sort of icy shade. So here I am applying all the way up into the hairline as well. So I'm just gonna give it a quick little blow like that. And I'm gonna add some more color. Now this one's from a pot. This one is Tony and Tina. It's a lovely cranberry loose powder. I'm gonna take a nice plume shaped brush and I'm just going to continue to drop it into these holes and just sort of tap it in so that it falls right into the holes. And I'm gonna apply a little bit more pink to this lid actually, so it kind of mimics the other pink eye. I'm gonna blow again to get the red sort of settled into it. So come just a little closer. Like that. All right. Dust her off a little. All right, so we have fully covered the lace in colorful shimmery powders, and now we're going to reveal. Because, so I'm gonna pull that off, and look at the beautiful lace pattern that we are getting. Mmm, lovely. And I love how it's just sort of blended colors, a little icy, a little pink, and um, it looks like she's actually wearing a veil on that side of her face. So, um, to finish off the eyes, we are going to add a really bold eyelash, um, some fake lashes. Makeup Forever has a great selection of fake lashes, and these are one of my favorites. You want it to be a little bit tacky before you put it on, so then I'm just going to lay them right over her lash, very close to her lash line. You can see that there's a little bit of a strip of white glue showing. Um, normally that does tend to dry clear, but sometimes you can still see a little bit of it there. Not a problem at all because you can just go right over it with, um, with the gel liner that I was showing you earlier, the, the hip liner by L'Oreal. I just love how this look is so dark and dramatic, yet it's so over the top girly and beautiful and uh, it's just, it's so feminine yet dark. How does it make you feel, Annie? I feel dark and feminine. <laughs> Do you feel like you could fly away with uh, those lashes? A little bit, there's a window. <laughs> it's beautiful. Now I'm just gonna do a little touch of lip, very minimal, very pink and frosty and glossy. And this is the look, it's gorgeous. Thank you, Annie, Thank for you, being Katie. such a wonderful model. This looks great on you. Thank you, Katie. I'm, I'm sure so you're gonna wear it um, off tonight, aren't you? Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm Katie Wedland for Howdini.com. <laughs> <laughs>